Falcon! Not a chance! Have you seen Siri? Siri! Find the elf! Any last words? Such a trap! You fight! You had your chance. I was hoping you'd come. Because? I've something to tell you. But I'll do so afterwards. As you expire. said you had something to tell me. Avalar has tricked us both. He set us against each other. 
the knees made off with Surila. I don't believe you. Siri. What? I thought you knew. All I know is Avalok might have betrayed us. What the? That a storm? Geralt, look! I find it damned hard to believe, but the gate between the worlds is open. We must reach the tower, quickly. Stop Avalok, while this can still be reversed. What are we gonna find there? If the tomes are to be believed, nature's laws will cease to hold. Gravity, time, Undvik, all of it will be turned on its head. Exaggerating for effect, right? Not one bit. The conjunction of spheres has begun. The worlds, they're aligned, permeate one another. Avalar could use this, bring the NL here, or something far worse. At least we know where to look for Siri. Hmm. Follow me, and stay alert. We need to focus on Siri. What do you think Avalar wants from her? Same as Eredin, I imagine. He will use her to open a gate between the worlds. Shit. An earthquake? We must hurry. Damn it! That ship's about to disintegrate! Hide in the hollow on the other side. Go! Dismantle it? Dismantle? No, I can make a tear at best. But only for a moment, because there's no... Specifics, Yen. Will we both get through? No. You must go alone. I'll come back. With Siri. I know. Agarid! Tyrgain! Agarid! Now, Geralt! Geralt. So unfortunate. I had hoped you wouldn't have to witness this. Where's Siri? Nearby. Listen. Shut up. 
I've heard enough of your bullshit. Draw your weapon. Let's get this over with. Think I'm willing to spare you? I think you will not attack one unarmed. Wouldn't be so sure. I'm in a foul mood. I am not your foe. I am merely helping Cirilla. I don't believe you. Can't. Not after all that's happened. Will you believe me? Avalark speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the tower. Because I aim to enter it. Why the hell would you do this? The Wild Hunt's been defeated. The White Frost has not. The prophecies are true. I have seen worlds bound in ice. I know what awaits you. Only the Elder Blood can stop the White Frost. Only I can stop it. You don't have to make this sacrifice. You're wrong. The White Frost is inevitable. It will come to freeze the worlds one after the other, eradicating all life. Only I can stop the destruction. I've given it much thought and made my decision. There's gotta be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it. Good luck, Siri. Perhaps I should have told you. I see now you might have understood. Know you better than you think. Don't keep me waiting.
The gentleman will follow. Report, 4th Kite Squadron. The Funsberg Division as a whole. Deserters. Does General Voorhis know? He's at the briefing. They're not letting anyone in. Nonsense. Get in there and report to him at once. Karen, but calm, but calm. Danians will be here shortly. This the Imperial Majesty is yes. If the Emperor refuses. Speak. Siri is dead. How did it happen? The white cold. You're familiar with the prophecy? Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? Plenty of work for witchers after a war. I'll travel east, maybe north. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? She regretted not getting a chance to say goodbye. Did she tell you this? Really? Didn't have to. She wanted to make peace. I know that. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. Need a hand with your wagon? Uh, no. It's not exactly ours. More a captured vehicle. Booty, you might say. Folk must have abandoned it in their rush. To where, I don't know. Be a shame for the Reds to claim it. Loot it. Change is coming. Grown accustomed, we have. With the Black Ones gone, witch hunters will move in. Yet life will roll on. We've to seize the day. True that. So, let's get to work before night creeps up on us. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the Nelf Guardians. You take care now. Good luck. Let's go! Master Ort. <sighs> Probably got held back. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. 38 and a half inch blade. Weight, just under 40 ounces. Silver-plated Siderite steel core. 
Glyphs and runes both the length of the blade and on the hilt. Beautiful. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no witcher has, or ever had, a better weapon, you ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Hort. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, have my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm-hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a Strigger's prowl in the Maribor Forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after... Who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. Witches, false healers, charm merchants, and filthy non humans are hereby deemed outlaws. All who provide shelter to. Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours. A witcher's sword. Swallow. Oh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher. Let's try it out then. Radovid had many faults. He was cruel, impetuous, and pathologically ambitious. But he was a tactical genius. That's undeniable. Commanding forces far outnumbered by his foes, he handily defeated the invader from the south. The Redanian Eagle spread its wings, taking all the north, including Novigrad and Neath. With victory in the war against Nilfgaard secured, Radovid proceeded to complete his witch hunt. As they had in Novigrad, pyres burned into Meria and Edirn, lands now liberated by the Redanian monarch. In the drive for moral renewal, simple herbalists, pellers, healers, and non-humans, all supposed heretics, were murdered in droves. For many, Freedom beneath Radovid's scepter proved more tragic than servitude to another. As long as his armies went from one victory to the next, Emir's subjects remained boundlessly obedient. When a string of humiliating defeats proved Var Emri's fallible, the opposition, thus far secret, attacked. The subjects of the Emperor who had danced on the graves of his foes laid him to rest in a tomb of his own. Many islanders believe Svanriga would be no more than his ambitious mother's puppet. The young king proved them wrong, ignoring her whims and ruling with an iron hand all his own. Tired of the Jarls and their endless feuds, he resolved to turn the Isles into an absolute monarchy, modeled after those of the continent. What he resolved, he achieved, but only by shedding his countrymen's blood. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rihanna, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. 
Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovil. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well after noon, more often than not in bed, and passed the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else. 